Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Crazy, crazy stuff, Rick. I mean, the western United States, they can't buy a drop of rain. It's unbelievably hot, as you just alluded to, in the eastern one half, dealing with scattered pockets of extremely heavy rainfall, deadly flash flooding in some spots, like in our area this past Saturday. But at least after the storms move out, the sunshine breaks through, we get some pretty skies like that right there. Is that beautiful or what? A full double rainbow. This coming in from Casey Elder, Shelbyville, Kentucky. You can see the primary bow and the secondary bow right there. Just beautiful skies following the extremely heavy rainfall. And again, the showers like they've been all weekend long scattered. Heavier cores putting down inches of rain in a short period of time. Other spots, not much at all. Hey, in town right now, all is quiet. We have some stars overhead. Good viewing of the moon as well. It's very quiet in the metro. 73 degrees. The humidity ooh, is starting to ramp up. And with a calm wind, I think some patchy fog looks to be a pretty good bet as the night wears on, especially some of those valley areas. Keep that in mind. All right, radar scan. Nothing around town. Have a couple of showers up around Seymour, but you can see west out in Perry County, heavy rainfall. Also off towards the south from there, a few showers lingering, moving into Meade County, moving towards Cordon, a little bit of light rain. Is it possible we could see another shower in town? Yeah, it is some patchy light rain, but I don't think anything heavy through the overnight. Oh my goodness, that's not the case off to the south. Here's Grayson County, here's Hart County, southern portions of Hardin County. Still some locally heavy rainfall going on. This stuff really falling fast and furious. Talk about the rainfall. Most of this came down this evening in a couple of hours. Here's the Western Kentucky Parkway. There's E-Town right there. In between Summit and Glendale here in Southern Hardin County, five to six inches of rainfall. And for all that heavy rainfall, I made phone calls, checked in with the National Weather Service, couldn't find any major reports of flooding in Hardin County or here in Nelson County. You can see right around Bardstown and west of Bloomfield, reports of three to four inches of rainfall this evening. Again, no major flooding, so that is some wonderful news. Any high water that was out there earlier has likely receded as these showers are now showing signs of diminishing. But you can see they're widely scattered yet on this Monday night. Here's what's going on. We talked about this late last week, this upper level low that was just going to move at a snail's pace through the region. Still right there. It's still going to be in the region tomorrow. As a result, yet another chance for a few widely scattered downpours tomorrow afternoon. Here's your future cast right now. Watch what happens. Move through the overnight. They fall apart. Some patchy fog to kick off your Tuesday. Keep that in mind. We heat things up tomorrow afternoon. More widely scattered or hit or miss showers and storms a possibility. Some of that activity could once again have some heavy rainfall. We'll be in the low 80s again tomorrow afternoon. The good news, Wednesday, some drier air finally works in. Hey, you know what, Wednesday? Rain is not in the forecast for a change. A mix of sun and clouds, a little less humid. Wednesday looks to be a beautiful day with temperatures in the low 80s. Here's the forecast overnight tonight. Widely scattered showers coming to an end. Watch out for that patchy fog. 70 year low. Tomorrow, some of that fog in the valleys in the morning. We warm into the low 80s in the afternoon, and that will likely give rise to hit or miss downpours again. Your high temperature of 83. And then the drier air, Rick, works in Wednesday, sticks around through Friday. That'll be nice to see. We warm to 88 Friday afternoon. Area high school football game should be fine. And wouldn't you know it, <laughs> weekend arrives and Another chance for scattered showers and storms. Timing's everything, and I know we're just kind of stuck in a rut. But yeah, this weekend it does look a little unsettled once again. And yeah, we're avoiding all the 90s. No 90s the first there, huh? With this much water around, it's tough <laughs> to get there. And you know, it's boy, it's out there in the west, though. Those folks yeah. are having a tough time. Yeah, all right.